Hello everyone, I am Vijay Gadbe and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to understand how to create the Azure Machine Learning Workspace. The Azure Machine Learning Workspace is a fundamental resource that provides a centralized place for managing all of your machine learning activities. For example, model building, model training, deploying, as well as managing the machine learning models. So let us go to Azure portal and create the same. So here I am on the Azure portal. Click on the show portal menu. Then go to all services. Under the categories, click on AI plus machine learning. And here you can see the Azure machine learning service. Click on this. There is another way to get this service. You can directly search here. First we have to go to the home tab and you can directly search here Azure Machine Learning this one from here we can create the Azure Machine Learning workspace now you can see here no workspaces to display workspaces are where you manage all the models assets and data related to your machine learning projects now click on create here we have two options, new workspace and new registry. Click on the new workspace. Here we have total six tabs. First one is the basics, then the networking, encryption, identity, tags and review plus create. As of now we are under the basics tab. Here you can see the resource details. Every workspace must be assigned to an Azure subscription and which is where the billing happens. So first we have to specify the subscription. All resources in an Azure subscription are built together. Here I have selected pay as you go. This is the subscription. You can select accordingly. Then we have to specify the resource group. I don't have any resource group created. So I'll create the new one. Azure ML hyphen RG. Okay. So we have specified the subscription and the resource group. Now scroll down. After that, we have to specify the workspace details. Here we have to configure the basic workspace settings like storage connection, authentication, container, and more. To get more information, you can click on learn more. Here you will get all the information about the Azure Machine Learning Workspace. This is the index. As of now we are not going in much detail. So we specified the resource details. Now we have to specify the workspace details. First we have to specify the name of the workspace. The workspace name must be unique within your resource group. Let us specify the workspace name Azure ML hyphen WS that is workspace. Then we have to specify the region. Parallelly, we will read the notes as well. Compute targets can only be created in the same region as the workspace. So ensure the selected region has a virtual machine series needed for your workspace compute targets. Let us specify the region. I'll specify East US. Great. Now here you can see after specifying the workspace name, these three tabs are auto filled. First one is the storage account. A storage account is used as the default data store for the workspace. Here you can select your existing storage account as well. I'm going with the default one. The storage account will be created. Then the key vault. Key vault is used to store the secrets and other sensitive information that is needed by the workspace. Here also we will go with the default name. Then the application insights. The workspace uses Azure application insights to store the monitoring information about your deployed models. Here also we will go with the default name. So these are the three dependencies. And this is the fourth one. 
container registry a container registry is used to register docker images used in training and deployments here we are not specifying anything we can add after creating the workspace at the time of deployment so don't worry about this one so first we specified the resource details here we specified the subscription and the resource group and after that we have specified the workspace details here we specified the workspace name region storage account key vault and application insights so this is all about the basic tab let us move ahead next one is networking here we have to specify the network isolation here we have three options first one is the public then the private with internet outbound and private with approved outbound here we are going with the public option here workspace is accessed via public endpoint this is the second point compute can access the public resources and outbound data movement is unrestricted so here we will go with the default option let us move ahead encryption here we have to specify the details about the data encryption the azure machine learning service stores matrix and metadata in an azure cosmos db instance where all data is encrypted at rest by default the data is encrypted with microsoft managed keys so here we will go with the default option encryption type microsoft managed keys then the next tab identity here we have to specify the managed identity storage account access and data impact first one is the managed identity let us understand this a managed identity enables azure resources to authenticate to cloud services without storing credentials in code here we are not able to select the identity type and here is the reason the managed user assigned identity option is only supported if an existing storage account key vault and container registry are used so we will go with the default option that is system assigned identity so this is all about the managed identity after that we have to specify the details under the storage account access the azure machine learning allows you to choose between credential based or identity based access when connecting to the default storage account here we have two storage account access types first one is the credential based and second one is the identity based so here we will go with the credential based access then the data impact if your workspace contains the sensitive data then you can specify a high business impact workspace so here we are not going to select high business impact workspace so this is all about the identity here we specified managed identity storage account access and data impact let us move ahead tags the tags are the name value pairs that enable you to categorize resources and view the consolidated billing by applying the same tag to multiple resources and resource groups so here we are not going to specify any tags we specified the details under the basics networking encryption identity and tags now review plus create running the final validation it will take a bit time to validate and the validation passed now here we can see all the details that we specified under basics like subscription resource group region name and so on then the details under the networking encryption and identity all is good now hit on create initializing the deployment now submitting the deployment and the deployment is in progress now it will take 2 to 3 minutes to deploy the workspace so i'll fast forward the process so the workspace is deployed successfully go to resource so we have successfully created the workspace 
this is the name azure ml hyphen ws and under the overview you can see all the details about the workspace that we specified like resource group location subscription storage and so on